Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to compare the Bobcat E50 compact excavator with the E63. Now, one thing I found out was when I went on to this um, excavator site, um, what I learned was there, it doesn't seem like they're selling the E63 anymore. They're still selling the E50, but not the E63. So what we want to do is let's because I have an E50 and my friend has an E63, uh, we're going to compare the two and see what the differences are. They seemed pretty similar, although the E63, when, I, when I'm up close to it, it feels a little bigger than mine, and I know it has a little more power. So let's go ahead and we're going to switch to the specs page and compare these two excavators. Okay, let's get to the specification sheet and compare these. So the E63 is a bigger machine. It looks like they've discontinued it. I don't, it's not for sale on Bobcat's website anymore. Um, they've gone from the E50 to the E60 to the E88. So the E63 doesn't look like it's for sale anymore. Um, let's, so let's look at the two differences. There is quite a bit of difference. Um, on the E50, you have max RPM of 2200. And if you look down here, power measured 2100. So pretty much the same. The Now the horsepower, the E50 has 49.7. And the E63 has 10 more horsepower, 59.4 approximately. Now, the weight, the, the E50 is close to 12,000 pounds, 11,876. And if you look at over here at the weight, 13,000, so it's almost 2,000 pounds more, pretty heavy machine. Like I couldn't tow this this uh, E63 with my trailer. It would fit in there, but it, it would be too heavy. My trailer is 12,000 pound max. So my E50 is borderline on my trailer already. So I couldn't go any higher than that. So it does have a lot more power, 59 horsepower. Now, travel speed looks to be the same, close 2.8 on the E50 and 2.9 on the E63. One Low speed is 1.8 and 1.6. The width on the E63 is 6.5. And let's see, let's see where's our width here. I'll have to look on this paper. So the width on the E50 is 77.2 and width is 6.5, 6 foot 5 inches, which is, um, what is that, 70, 77 inches. So they're about the same in width. Um, overall length, it's a lot bigger. It's, 40, it's almost 4 feet bigger. The E63 is almost four feet longer than the E50. Now height, let's see, to top a cab, eight foot three, and the E50 is 100.2 inches. So eight foot, eight times 12 is 96. So the E50 is actually a little bit taller. Um, not by much, but really close. Now what else do we have on here? Let's see, let's look at these digging, um, the digging. Boom swings, very similar. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's look at, okay, so cutting height. They don't really show a cutting height on the Bobcat E50. So let's go here to arm digging force. Max dig, they don't show that either on this. Let's go max digging depth, max reach along the ground, 20.4. And on the E50, max reach is 20 foot five. So you have very similar reach, surprisingly. Max digging depth, 13 foot one on the E50 and 13.5, that's, really close surprisingly and the max height is 14 feet on the on the E63 14 feet and on the E50 um, 
let's see. Let's see if I can find that max reach at ground level. Must be on the next page. Oh, max dump height is 13 feet. And over here is 14 feet. So they, it has a foot, a foot taller reach. So it is a little bigger. I'm surprised that some of these, some of these figures are really close actually. Now the horsepower is ob obviously bigger and, um, you know, it's got 10 more horsepower, which is a lot. So it's a lot, it's going to be more powerful with that horsepower. And then also you have, um, you know, the weight, it's a bigger machine. So it's not, it's going to, it's going to have a little more ability to, um, control tipping and stuff being, being heavier like that. Um, although for me, I couldn't really go with the, uh, this size machine because of my trailer and I don't really want a bigger trailer because then I'd need a bigger truck. So, but yeah, so, so both me, both these machines are really good machines. I'm surprised they discontinued the E63. I, I'd like to dig into that further and find out why but for now um let's take a look at the video of the e63 and the e50 mostly it's going to be just a little bit of the e63 both these machines are really good machines um my buddy did have a little trouble with uh, a leak but bobcat took care of it you know so bobcat at least the one by us has been a really good company and and um yeah, they, they're pretty good about handling problems and stuff. But yeah, both these machines are really reliable and um, very, very good for what they are. And uh, anyway, um, yeah, let's get to the video and watch a little action with the E63. And then also I'm going to I'm gonna be using my E50 to bring down some boulders. So let's get to it. Here you can see the E63. Now what he's, gonna, what he's doing here is he's going to start grading. And we're going to prep the whole lot all the way around this garage for water runoff. And in order for me to get my final on this property, I have to have the grading done around the property. So still a lot of rocks. So he, what he does is he basically takes this two foot bucket and he kind of scrapes through trying to get this. Now what we're gonna do is the direction he's going right now is the direction the water is gonna be going on this side. It's gonna basically come out of the garages about a quarter inch per foot for about 10 feet. And then it's gonna drop going out uh, between the garage and those two trees right there. And yeah, that should slope pretty good and be good for water drainage. Anyway, um, yeah, the E63, great machine. It, this particular one, like I said, it's got a heated cab, air conditioning, radio. Um, it doesn't have a laser on it, but it does It does have a thumb and uh, yeah, it's. You know, side by side, when they're sitting side by side, it's it's hard to tell that it's very much bigger, but it does have um, a height advantage. It can reach about a foot higher than the E50. And it also, you know, it's heavier. So it has, um, it just has a little more, it, it has 10 ho more horsepower, which is a lot. I mean, it's got, what is that, 20% more horsepower. And um, yeah, pretty pretty nice machine though, really solid machine. I think the only thing I'm really jealous about is the heated cab. Uh, my E50 has an open cab, so I don't have the heat and air conditioning, but I don't use it that much in the winter. And um, yeah, mostly I use it in the in the springtime. So right here, yeah, he's just motoring along. And um, the, what the, the plan is to get as much of the rough grading as possible done today. And then we will be able to come in with a skid steer and a bunch of base, some DG road base. And then we're going to do some uh, a pea gravel on top of that. Right here you can see he's using the front blade of the excavator to, to really kind of get, uh, get his grade going. Yeah, it was surprising. I, I couldn't really get any specs off the Bobcat site on the E63. And I was actually surprised that they dis discontinued it. Um, I'm not sure why. I'm going to have to research that. 
John does a really nice job. You know, normally, you know, I use my excavator and I do all my own stuff, but when it comes to grading, there's a, there's, you know, a guy that does it every day is going to do a lot better than you. Um, I, even though I use my excavator a lot, most of the stuff I do is digging out rocks or digging out tree stumps or lifting up trees to cut them with my chainsaw. So I don't have that really good experience with um, doing the grading. So it's nice to have John because he's been doing this grading his whole life with these machines. So I just felt, you know, it would turn out a lot better if I had him do the grading. And it's important that things look good and, and turn out right. So, yeah. But we did team up. Uh, I ended up getting my excavator and um, I had some stockpile of some boulders up on the mountain and I ended up uh, going up there and getting them with my Bobcat E50. So basically the only thing I did on this day was go get boulders for John and bring them down here for this planter around these trees. Right there you can see he's working his way around the planter and doing some grading. And right here is when he tells me he, he needs some boulders. So it was pretty much time for me to start going up in the mountain and getting the boulders and bringing them down. Right here, John's setting up his laser and he's going to do some checking. Make sure he's not off track. He does pretty good by eye, actually, but it's always good to pull out a laser. Make sure you're make sure you're doing it right and everything's running downhill away from the building. Right here I'm bringing the E50 out. It's an open cab E50 and I'm gonna go up on the mountain and get some rocks. Some boulders. They don't call it the Rocky Mountains for nothing. My property has it's all rock. It has more rock than dirt on my property. They make for nice, nice uh, landscaping though. Last year I sold about five dump truck loads of rocks when I was doing this foundation. Here's John basically positioning the boulders around this, um, this tree. That's going to be kind of my my little landscape thing on the front of the garage. Um, basically, I'm going to have a big planter here around these two trees, and that'll be kind of a focal point. We'll put we'll plant some some shrubs and flowers inside this planter. He does a really good job of placing these rocks too. Um, he's been doing that kind of stuff a long time, and he knows how to like dig them down and bury them a little bit and make them look good. I think the natural rock planters look pretty nice. Let me know what you think in the in the comments. But I figure if you got rocks, I mean you might as well uh, make use of them somehow. You can see how he, he digs down and he figures out how to place them really nice in there. Here comes the E50 with a giant Probably a 2,000 pound boulder. Um, pretty nice one actually. I managed to bring down about a half a dozen of these pretty decent sized boulders for John to place around there. And you can see that thing is big. Actually I did a wheelie down, coming down the mountain dragging that boulder. And there it goes being put into place. Yeah, the big boulders look pretty cool. You can see he's digging it down and making sure to position it how he wants. He's so good at it. I, I basically just told him, do you know, use your own judgment and do it how you want. I'll just keep bringing down the boulders. Yeah, the Bobcat E63. So comparison, it's, you know, it's a lot... It's a lot stronger and bigger than the E50. Um, a lot heavier, 2,000 pounds heavier. A lot of the um, a lot of the digging and reaching and stuff like that was very similar. Um, it did have a foot higher reach, 
which is good when you're trying to put something in the back of a dump truck. It works a little better. Um, but as far as digging, it wasn't there wasn't that much difference in the two. Um, horsepower was a lot, 10, 10 more horsepower. You can see though, it's a good looking machine. And um, right here, he's, he's basically um, scraping through the, this material to uh, bring it around the corner and fill in a little hole over there. And he'll have this property basically, you know, in, in one afternoon, he had it ready to take the DGs. So yeah, it was all in all, it was a good day. Right here, I'm shooting this video with the drone and trying not to hit any trees. Yeah, it's a good it's a good looking machine. I'm s I don't know why they discontinued it. It would be interesting to find out, maybe do a little more research on it. But um yeah, all in all, uh he had a good day and um I was kinda pleased to see the the grading starting to happen around my garage. And you can see that black waterproofing on my foundation right there. I'm not going higher than that when I come down this. Um, so that's kind of the slope right there on both back and the side. You can see it with that black line. Here you can see him using his blade. Yeah, he just does a, a lot nicer job than I could do. So it's, it's nice to have him here. Yeah, grading. Progress on the garage. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time. Later.